Howdy folks. Today's a shave stick. So, oh golly, this is a bay rum, uh, limes and peppercorns. You can tell it's in a twist up container. And this soap, shave stick I probably should say. This uh, is a little bit softer soap than what I used in the previous video. And it seems to, how can you say, go on the face a little bit easier. But, uh, I'll get to that here in just a moment. Um, also, <laughs> what's left of the alum block with no rubber band. I've got the uh, Humphreys Witch Hazel. It's got menthol and peppermint in it. And that's about all that's left. It was a yeah, 16 ounce container of the Humphreys. I'm going to follow the shave up with uh, Eraser Rocks Black Bay. It's their version of a uh, Bay Rum. And uh, shaver of the day. This is, I mentioned it before, this is a uh, Razor Rock handle radio knob there. And the head came by the way of Yaki. And this is what they refer to as a Knight's Helmet. It has a uh, derby blade in it right now. This is a very, I guess you might say, aggressive shaver. And uh, yeah, there we go, derby blade. Uh, the first two shaves I did with the, the shave stick, the setup, uh, I use a Voskod. And the first shave with this blade in this head uh, wasn't too terribly bad, but the second shave made me <laughs> wish I hadn't <laughs> went for the second shave on the same blade. <laughs> Usually I have pretty good luck with these uh, blades, but it wasn't necessarily the best match with uh, uh, with this setup. So that's the reason why I decided to go with the Derby blade and to see if uh, I get a better shave using that. Um, also went with a... Um, this is a V-Long, squeezing out the water out of the brush there. It's a horsehair knot. I think it's about a 21 millimeter. It's not a real big knot. And I've had pretty good luck uh, lathering uh, with this horsehair knot, which that, if I remember correctly from, I guess you might say, days gone by, uh, that the horsehair seemed to work pretty well for me. I've already put a hot towel to the face this morning and used a coconut oil for the pre-shave. And uh, go ahead and get started here. But this um, this shave stick, like I said, it's a, oh, I should say it's a vegan, and it runs somewhere between five and six dollars, depending on where you find it at. And uh, it does appear to be a bit softer, and that might uh, also be one of the reasons that it's in a container like this, as opposed to just a very firm soap, just kind of, I guess you might say, on its own without a dispenser if you will but it seems to go on pretty good in other words it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to get some soap on your on your face and one of the things I started doing is a uh, put just a little bit on the brush in hopes that I get plenty enough uh, soap on the face still struggling with uh, getting the lather uh, just where I like it with the face lather uh, I bowl lather a whole lot better. <laughs> I generate the shaving cream, whip up that lather a whole lot better. But this is the whole idea is a practice to get used to uh, face lathering. But this uh, goes on pretty smooth. It feels better on my face. Uh, the harder soap, uh, it does have that little bit of a tendency, in my opinion, just to uh, it kind of irritates my skin a little bit. I maybe I'm pushing on it a little bit too hard trying to get some uh, uh, soap on my face. Uh, over time I'm sure I'll get better but right now it seems to be a bit of a challenge. And for me the, a horsehair not it it might be just a bit pokey just a bit but not to the point where uh, that uh it, in other words no not near as bad as a bore that needs to be broke in horsehair for me works pretty well generally they're inexpensive for me they seem to lather up pretty good you can kind of see i've got water I may have too much water in the brush right now i will say that the past two shaves if you were in a hurry the past two shaves indicated to me with this setup with this head is that uh you might if you're a two-pass shaver 
uh, this might be one for you especially if you like a, a very efficient like the blade feel at times I almost felt like felt like the uh, the blade was vibrating especially on the against the green pass uh, not accustomed to that I'm not real familiar with uh, in other words uh, that sort of thing taking place I wouldn't uh, you know, some people mention it in the, their shavers sometimes from time to time that that's what they feel. And uh, I'm not, uh, I guess you might say, accustomed to feeling that. And at times it kind of felt like the, va the blade was vibrating. Uh, it's got a lot of shave feel. <laughs> this head will not be for everybody. Uh, that's for sure. First time go with the Derby blade, see how it goes. The reason why I went with the Derby Blade is uh, with the blade feel that I feel with this shaver, uh, thinking maybe Derby being considered a mild blade, that maybe that's the best match for this right now. Getting ready to find out. But there is definitely a blade feel on this. With that in mind, you're going to have to really pay attention to uh, uh, pressure. <laughs> really want to pay attention to the pressure. As it goes for the scent of the soap, my nose is not the best of the world here lately. It's kind of gotten that, that frame of my sinuses have been giving me fits again. So I can smell it right off of the, the stick itself. But as I lather, maybe a hint or two, I wouldn't say that that's the soap that's, in other words, lightly scented as opposed to think it might be more my nose because my nose is just not, it's not picking up much of anything, period, as far as that goes. It has to be a fairly strong scent for me to pick up anything. In other words, including food when you're cooking food and stuff stuff like that. Sometimes I don't smell a whole lot. I can't think maybe a good indication if you're wondering about a good match with uh, the blade and the head on this is um, if you get a decent... Uh, second pass shave, you might, you might have a, a, a same second shave out of the blade. You might have a good match. Uh, I do feel like that the uh, that the aggressiveness of the head is uh, probably going to run a lot of people off with this one. I guess you might say the masses aren't looking for a head that's uh, this aggressive. And it is. An awful lot of blade feel. But if you're looking for a single pass shave, or maybe even a two pass shave, maybe you're limited on time, or that's just the, the kind of shave you prefer, uh, it may not be a half bad head because uh, it's, it's pretty darn efficient. I found that after especially focusing more on what was going on with the shave I felt like the uh, hopefully I got enough soap in this thing uh, I found that a two pass shave would work pretty good as opposed to three two had been plenty or two and maybe a couple of swipes for pickups and the areas that I know I got issues like right through there uh, you can get a pretty quick efficient shave I might get this lathered up. I've been working with uh, past few shaves trying to add more water to see if I can get more lather out of the lathering up like this, face lathering. I also thought about uh, going what may be considered a messier way to load the brush with the stick. But I want to stick with this for a while and see if I can't start to get the hang of it. I guess you might say that for me the reason why uh, bowl lathering is easier is that I put a lot of 
soap in the bowl. There's always plenty of soap left in the bowl after I'm done. And that does make it easier to work up a lather, in my opinion, as opposed to putting small amounts in there and trying to create a good lather from that. I just put plenty in there so I don't, I guess you might say, best chance to succeed. I can smell it, but it, like I say, my nose is so, <laughs> it's so bad right now. Wake up in the middle of the night, have to get up to blow my nose. It's, it's been kind of tough. Breathing has been an issue. For me, across the green, it hasn't been too bad. On the blade feel. But that first one, with the grain, and definitely a lot of blade feel, and then uh, against the grain, uh, it really will test you on the, your ability to marry up the uh, the head with the right blade. Because <laughs> I know after the first shave, I thought, oh my goodness. I could go through a lot of blades trying to find a good match for this one. Boscod's been a pretty decent blade. It works well for me in a number of different shavers. Uh, been trying to stay away from Persona because Persona is my one of my go-to blades and trying to uh, find other blades that might fit in that same category, I guess you might say. Lord Cool usually is one of them. It's Teflon coated, but so is the Boscod. So I... For me, it kind of threw me for a loop that that second shave was, oh, it was, <laughs> by, the, by the end, you know, it was, uh, matter of fact, at the end of the shave, especially on my neck, this is what I used to help calm things down. My, my neck was good and irritated. It was not happy. I should have stuck with the one and done on the blade. Things probably would have went a lot better. All right, we're going to see if there's enough lather left in this brush. Looks like there might be. Just have to take a little bit to work it up. Like I say, I'm still learning with the face lathering. It did take me a moment to learn how to do a good bowl lather. It took a little while, so that and I've been trying to stick with the uh, time frame of uh, three shaves with the stick and then moving on to a different stick, different shaver. I think I'm going to be sticking with horsehair though. That's good for different brushes. Against the grain, here we go. I have to say that the Derby Blade against the green is a lot better experience than what I had with the Boss God. So I kind of figured this would be a better choice. Much smoother than the Boss God, even on the first try. This is a much better matchup. much smoother at least on my neck it doesn't it's not screaming even with the first try with the last cod my neck was a it was a bit tender in other words this experience is not something I experienced in the past of recent history this is a pretty aggressive head And also didn't notice the uh, uh, any vibration too, which is interesting. Go ahead and show you what it looks like there on the inside. This particular one, uh, Yaki, as it goes for labeling the razors, it's right there at the top. It's etched in right there on the underside on the base plate. And this is what the base plate looks like. 
I guess you might say is pretty straightforward. And there's the derby blade. And with the blade out, and I'm going to go ahead and put this blade over here. There we go. This is what it looks like on the underside. And there's the top without the base plate. It's a, a very unique setup. It does allow a certain amount of um, lather to work its way through. It seems like if you rinse it out, it does rinse out a lot of the soap off of the uh, the blade itself. So it does make that, uh, I guess you might say, a cleaner rinse than maybe what some other uh, heads are. Face feels pretty smooth. In other words, there's a, to get a baby BSS, a um, baby smooth Maybe but smooth. I'm telling you, it would not take much with this setup. Uh, I just, you just really need to, if you're going to go this route, you would need to have a, a good supply of blades to figure out what blade works best for you. Because I know not everybody can use a derby blade, as well as feathers. You know, it kind of goes from one uh, end of the spectrum to the other. With certain shavers, derby blades work great for me. And then in other shavers, not so much. But I do keep a good supply of derby blades on hand, especially for shavers like this one. I still got a little bit of stinging on my neck. That could still be a little bit of a leftover from the past two shaves. I think the when I got it, it was that head was on sale. It was under, I think, four bucks. I think so. I think now it's running right around the five dollar mark. Um, if you watch some of the sales on Yaki's website there on AliExpress, uh, you may find you know a sale every once in a while and get these, pick these up on sale. Uh, I've got a link down from below for this stuff. But uh, if I remember right, I got this one here on sale. Uh, but like anything else, when I had ordered it at that point in time, it was the only choice that they had and then it went off of their website for a while then they came back with three different versions and I think now they just got two I think one's nickel one's a, a matte nickel I think and I think the other one was a, a black one I think it was or maybe a gunmetal face feels a lot better on this shade than it did on the last one shape yesterday boy that time I got done it was like whoa it was not a very good shave at all my down here was really irritated um, yeah the cream helped out a lot in calming things down and making things feel a lot better but even by the end of the day because of wearing anything that rubs on my neck now after a shave like that I had to go back and touch it back up with some more cream try to get it to calm down because like I say it was good and irritated. It was not happy. This is a different type of bay rum than what, uh, uh, I guess you might say, run of the mill. This one here, I don't think, could be wrong if I remember right, though. I don't think this one here has any cloves in it. Uh, at least I don't think so. It, and I know my nose does not pick it up. A different slant on the... Uh, Bay rum style. I can smell it though. My nose, it, it comes and goes. Both my wife and I have been struggling with her sinuses here lately. Next shave. Um, like I say, I'm going to use a new shave stick, a different shave stick. And, um, and it's going to be uh, with this shaver here. This one here, this head and base plate, of course, come from Yaki. Right now, I've got it paired up with a, a Dorco Prime. And this handle here is, comes, by the way, of uh, Mac Metalworks. Uh, this one here is an aluminum handle, handle so the, most of the weight is going to be right here in the head. Uh, this is a cobbed base plate. When you compare the two, there's one that's scalloped, and this one here is cob. Cobb is going to be the more aggressive of the Yaki base plate that looks like this and then the scalp is going to be milder and we're going to see how this one compares to what I just got through using Knight's helmet uh, to find out which one I guess you might say would be 
better for me to use. Um, I'm kind of thinking that this one here is going to be it. <laughs> but we'll get, I'll give it a try. I'll shave uh, three times with a, another shave stick. See how, if I can improve using uh, the same horsehair brush. Not the same brush, but a horsehair brush. Keep consistent with that knot and see if I can improve my lather. But at any rate, much better shape today than what it was yesterday. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and smooth shakes to you.